when I'm in LA, I will riot. That. Don't touch that. Yeah, no, it's a real fucking. Oh my god. We don't want you to die. Yeah, don't Alex, this is giving me anxiety. There. You touching it was giving me anxiety. I wasn't even touching it. You almost touching it was giving me anxiety. Just wait until they get caught by the H2O hunters. First off, you are aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know how to hold it normally now. Is it because you're on camera or because you yes. have tequila? <laughs> All of them. Weren't you like an actress? What? <laughs> was it like at one point your entire job to be on camera? Yeah, I don't think I was very good at it. <laughs> I'm not that much taller than you to begin with. So neat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, hold on, sorry, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm, t oh my god, I look like I'm like six feet tall, dude. Never use it? No, never uses it. It's literally specific just for her. What's going on with Cleo? I can't, got to the point of putting the code. I tried to put the code in and it doesn't work because I didn't know I had to press and light it up numbers first. But I told you all the story of when like, 
when Raleigh and I both got our phones, Raleigh thought, Raleigh told me when we were eight years old that if we both had the same text plan, it didn't matter because it was free. Texting. Fucking Raleigh. <laughs> and so we would text each other like, ha ha ha, boobs, penis, and like all these random like emotes, like LOL, LMAO, and we got really big trouble. <laughs> Okay, I can't do it either. I tried. I know, I did too. There was also, by the way, there was flour all over that thing. Oh, that's me. Look at what we're watching. Yeah. What? Yeah! What is he eating? Clean Oh! It took me a long time. Your mullet is extra mullety today. It's bad. I left my other luggage because I planned. I brought it over my bag. Hey, hey okay. You know, you're right. Tyson. I know something. What, is what did, oh, what did Thomas, did Thomas think Mayday Labor Day was? It was for women uh, going through labor for Mayday people. Mayday is a pagan because, festival. No, because the fucking, the, the U.S. sucks, okay? But like, no. Mayday, Mayday <laughs> is a... I love Meryl Streep so much. I heard a rumor that they're coming out with a Devil Wars Prada 2, but I can't. Meryl Streep. I feel like it might have been. I'd yeah. say thank you. I love her. <laughs> Raleigh and I stayed up talking about our future podcast last night. Yes. Mm. Are we still calling it A Thousandth Best Friend? That's what I'm thinking. But yeah. it's the only thing I've thought of, and I think that it'd be cute. The best joke best is that. Um, when Raleigh and I were kids, um, <laughs> I was like, you're my best friend. And Raleigh was like, you're, no, you're my best friend too. And then Raleigh was like, well, <laughs> well but Jenna Westall. Jenna Westall <laughs> is uh, probably actually my best friend because technically I've known her longer since we were babies. And I was like, well, you know what? You're my a thousandth best friend. And then Raleigh was like, well, you're my a thousandth best friend. And then I rode like crying on my <laughs> bike home. Like, we were in an intersection. I'm glad they're all having a good time in the living room, but I get really overstimulated. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a party in my office for a little bit. I have a little bit of things I need to do anyway. People get like mad at me because they're like, well I wouldn't say they get mad, but like, I feel like I look like such a workaholic, which is true, I think I am kind of a workaholic, but also like I just genuinely enjoy my job. So I've been finding like the balance between not doing job things versus doing other things I enjoy. Cause I do enjoy other things. I enjoy like, I do enjoy hanging out with my friends. I enjoy like going out playing pickleball and like all this other stuff. But I just like, I really enjoy my job. And so now I just, I have things on my mind. I wanna, I wanna do them. So look, I'm ready for sports. <laughs> I'm ready for sports. It says go team. I um I need to edit videos, so I'm currently editing for Instagram and TikTok. Um I need to plan that all out on Notion, so I'll walk that through with you guys as well. The videos I'm working on are about um, these new summer products that I'm gonna add to the store. So I'll show you guys for YouTube as well. So I got these new samples in yesterday. These glass tumblers are like the newest product that I have in the store. There's these two. So there's like this tumbler version that um, doesn't have line art on it. It's just kind of pretty simple. And I really like it a lot. I can't tell if I like it better than this one. I do think I actually like this one better. I like how crisp, I like how crisp this one is. Um, so this one like has the line art around the kitties so you can see that difference there. So what I'm doing now is I'm just like going over the samples, making sure that I like it because I'm not gonna upload it to my store. If I'm not gonna use it and I don't like it, why would you guys use it? You know what I mean? So like, obviously I wanna make sure that I like my products if I'm gonna put them in the store. So the only thing that I fucked up on with this design is uh, I like, it's really cute and I do like the line art one. I think I'm gonna add this colored version in the store. Um, I didn't extend it 
to the entire glass mug. There's like this line right here that's just like has no design. I don't know where I messed up on that, but before I put them in the store, I'm gonna fix that, make sure that that's squared away. But the mug that is good to go that I do really like is the line art on the ceramic mug the little ghost kitties. So yes, it's very cute. I like it a lot. So we're gonna have the design on mouse pads as well, which is so freaking cute. Like look at how freaking cute this is for fall. Super excited to add these to the store. There are going to be more. I'm gonna be uploading all these designs and the fall designs should be ready to go and in the store. I like the clicky. On the 20th of September, which is really exciting constantly collect samples from the store so I'm like I end up begging my friends and family <laughs> I'm like guys guys do you guys need mugs or mouse pads because I am not short on uh, any of those things whatsoever <laughs> it's really cute because um I give my grandparents my clothes all the time like I'll give them I always get samples of my clothes from my store and I'll give them a lot of my clothes like I'll come in with like garbage bags of clothes whenever I go to visit them and they're always so thankful they're like oh my gosh Alyssa thank you so much this is amazing and I'm like you guys you're doing me the favor <laughs> like I am please please take them I am overrun there's a lot of samples in this house if you are a part of the titty house as we call it then um chances are you are using my products like on the daily because that's basically all that's in this house at that point the store uses the drop shipping method, which means that I don't hold my own inventory um, whenever I ship you guys my products. I go through drop shipping, which is um, there are manufacturers who have products, like they'll have these glass tumblers and it'll, they'll just say like, you can put your design on it. So I work with designers to make really special designs for you guys. And I go through a lot of different drop shippers to make sure that one, they can connect with Shopify, which is where I have my website. Two, that they have all of the uh, specifications that I need, like they ship internationally, like if it's clothes, that they have the proper sizes. And then I order a lot of samples, make sure I actually like the products. And then I make sure that uh, they're reasonably priced. So there's a lot that goes into it. So there's pros and cons for, um, drop shipping versus handling your own inventory. For handling your own inventory, you can get a lot of really cute content. Like I love, I know that y'all love this too because everybody loves this, like the cute little packing videos and stuff that small business owners do. And I've been really sad that I haven't been able to do that because I don't pack any of my own orders. Um, <laughs> and you can get like really creative with packaging and stuff. It is, I will say, it's super nice not having to hold my own inventory. That is, it's really nice. <laughs> Nonetheless, even then I, am overrun with my own products here just based purely on me ordering samples for the store and making sure that all that's kosher. So I use CapCut to edit my videos and then I always upload the videos to um, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts is what I've been doing recently as well and I found that YouTube Shorts actually helps quite a lot so. shoot in cinematic mode. Some of these videos are taking forever to upload on the CapCut, so. <laughs> Kennedy uploaded two videos this week. Kennedy, there's a fall video. Oh! Kennedy's little fall vlog on in the background. Kennedy, if we don't do fall things when I'm in LA, I will riot. I want to get more into like watching YouTube videos. Um, I am a chronic, like, on streams for instance, um, when I, whenever I watch people on Twitch, I am a chronic lurker, like, I am 100% a lurker, I'll occasionally come in and chat, but, like, not really, I am not a chatter on Twitch, which is super ironic considering, like, the entire point of my streams is just being super high energy. <laughs> Kennedy's actually been trying to, like, get me to watch more YouTube vlogs, uh, which, you know, makes sense because, first off, 
so many of you are so freaking talented and also secondly I'm making vlogs so why the hell am I not watching more vlogs I don't know I don't know if you guys feel the same but like maybe it's like an ADHD thing because I know that Kennedy has ADHD and Thomas loves watching YouTube and he has ADHD I don't like to be too distracted whenever I like want to brain off you know I just I don't know watching a movie and doing something or watching a show and doing something is definitely part of my routine like usually I'll turn on friends and watch friends while I work or something maybe it's just like a routine thing watching YouTube videos and stuff is just not a part of my routine whenever I'm Working, it feels way too overstimulating, but maybe that's just because I'm like set in my ways and I'm stubborn. We do love my bestie, so uh, I'm gonna watch her little fall vlog because I do love fall and I do want to be in the fall vibes. So I'm gonna like have her video quietly in the background while I edit my fall video of my products. That's what I'm gonna do right now. By the way, while we're talking about editing, I edit my YouTube videos through CapCut. So here is my PAX video. CapCut recently came out with a desktop version and it's really, really nice. I, I can't really click on any of these, unfortunately, and show you guys. Not because I have anything to hide. A lot of these are already published, but the media is gone. So it's just gonna look like, um, it's gonna look like this because there's no media. So it looks really, it looks really scary. <laughs> media lost. But no, what actually happened was my card is not plugged into my computer, so. But anyway, just believe me, CapCut, if you use it on your phone, it's essentially the exact same process, but on desktop. And I've found that it's super smooth and easy to use. And it's definitely taken a lot of anxiety away from my worries about editing for YouTube because I always go through this process of like I stay away from a social platform for a really long time because I have it in my head that I want everything to be perfect and then I stay away from it because I don't know exactly what to do and where to start and then I just get overwhelmed and I never do it until I finally do it and then I'm like all in you know. Do y'all want to see how I schedule my content on my Notion? I'll record that for you. Actually, I'll record that for you and then uh, show you what my like posting schedule looks like and my thought process behind creating content. When I say that I have like a calendar everywhere is an understatement because like look at what I just recently bought that attaches to my monitor. So I have this like little whiteboard that I that attaches to my monitor. It's where I put my little sticky notes and it's also where I put like, hey, do this every day or every other day. And then I also have like my acrylic calendar over here with uh, it's like a yearly calendar and a monthly calendar. I also have my journals and I have my notion. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know which disorder of mine this is associated with. That's just what happens when you're hot and on the grind. I don't fucking know, but anyway. But the way I schedule my post content is on Notion. So what I do is it changes depending on, um, on like if something, if like a surprise comes up and it's like, oh, I really need to talk about this, but I'll go through like my post process and my thought process because it can get really overwhelming when like I'm managing my store, I'm managing Twitch, I'm managing my Twitch streams, I'm managing trying to post consistently on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'm trying to get good about posting YouTube vlogs. And honestly, YouTube vlogs just take like a really long time to edit. So by the time I'm posting this video, uh, my assumption, I don't know, Alyssa, tell me in the comments what happens, but this video, I don't know what it, this is like a day in my life uh, video of what I did over the weekend, right? Minimum of 10 hours it took me to edit this probably. So we'll see. Um, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's a lot less just depending on how simple the video was. I think my last video was PAX. It was on PAX and that took me like, it took me five hours so it wasn't actually that bad. Um, but YouTube definitely like, I love it, don't get me wrong, but it, it's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> I digress, I digress. So this is my post schedule. So what I do is I have um, my Instagram engagement checklist right here, which I'm not gonna go over right now because honestly I need to revise it. And then I have my social media auditing and I don't wanna look through this right now, honestly, just cause I'm kind of embarrassed and it has like comments and stuff that I look through and I don't wanna like out some of y'all with some of your comments. I don't know, it feels weird. The social media auditing is basically just like me going through all my top posts for the month 
and then I see why they did well, I see why people commented, I see what people commented, and I see, like, if there's any repetitive comments, and it's like, oh, okay, they clearly really, y'all clearly really enjoyed this, I should touch on this again, you know, or even lack of engagement, like, this did not do well, and let's see why, so I just audit my own content every month. So I haven't done that in a while, so I should do that soon. Actually, I should do that this month. I refer to this calendar every single day. My strategy, and actually I've talked to other content creators who have really helped me with this, because sometimes it's really nice to just to like bounce ideas off of other content creators, because there's just really simple shit that you missed, and it's like, why have I not been focusing on this? I've been putting all my energy into the wrong freaking area. I have three pillars of content that I try and make content around, at least primarily for Instagram and TikTok. I try and only focus on Cozy Chaos Gaming content, and then I focus on day in the life of a content creator, as somebody who works from home, and then I focus on just business owner stuff, so like providing tips, tricks, showing you guys the behind the scenes of me sampling my products and stuff. So anything that is outside of those three pillars, I just try not post about. I'm honestly a little bit frustrated with Instagram. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it's just like that. We'll see if it picks back up, but this is my strat. Post a video from PAX to Instagram and TikTok, and then I put a little check mark next to it because I did that. And then same with my YouTube video. I posted the YouTube video. And then on the fifth, if you want to grow your content, fix these three mistakes because that was something that was on my mind and I thought it'd be good to make a post about it. So I recorded this on Wednesday and then posted it for Thursday. Sometimes I record it really quickly Thursday and then post it that day. So my next post that you literally just saw me working on in this vlog was testing fall products. And I put like a little shopping bag next to it because that symbolizes like my business post. And then the computer means my content creation post. So on Wednesday, I'm planning at least to post a day in the life how I edit my TikToks and Reels because I've had a lot of people ask me like, how exactly do you edit your TikToks and Reels? Um, so I'm going to make a post on that. And primarily I get a lot of my ideas for what to post. Honestly, just from my discord and from you guys it's just like the power of observation like i said earlier i look at what you guys are talking about in the discord community or like if you guys are like oh my gosh Alyssa, i would love to see more of this sometimes you just outright tell me which is super nice and helpful or i'll just see what you guys are like happy about and talking to each other about or complaining about or what game you're excited about and then i'll be like noted i'm leaving for la i'm staying with kennedy at her place starting on the 19th and so since obviously she's also a content creator I was like, you know, it would be really cute since I'm gonna be in LA. I should do a day in my life five strats from the content creator bestie playbook. So uh, I don't wanna give too much away, but like that's the post that I'm planning to make with her, which I thought was gonna be really cute. Sometimes shit hits the fan, you're too tired, you have to reorganize, whatever. So, and then if I have brand deals that come in, I go ahead and like schedule those in advance. I don't wanna click on this one, but this is a collaboration with Intelligent Change. I'm an ambassador for them and they have a new book coming out. I'm gonna post that once it comes into the mail. So things like that. This is how I schedule all of that. Um, don't laugh at me, but I haven't unpacked since PAX, which was almost a week ago. I've been really tired. <laughs> if anything, this vlog is keeping me accountable, and I'm and uh, so I'm gonna unpack. Ellie is really upset. She is super upset that. Her dad is gone. He went to go drop off Ami Raleigh at the airport. Can you say hi? You see the red dot? Yeah. I know, we're so sad. Just so cute and just so little. You help me unpack? <sighs> I didn't even use these hair rollers. I don't know if y'all are like me. I tend to like pack stuff thinking, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna use this, you know? Like I packed my Switch, I packed my iPad, I packed my laptop, I'm like, I'm definitely gonna need all of this. My hair rollers, and to be fair, I had every intention of using my hair rollers and then I just got lazy. I end up packing stuff that I just like don't use. I could have saved myself so much trouble and just not. I need a new suitcase. This suitcase is actually Thomas's and his, AKA mine, that he used is really bad. So I want like a pink, I want like a cute pink suitcase. Here is a hoodie that I barely wore because uh, as much as I want it to be, it is just not cold enough outside yet. 
but I want it to be fall so bad. Like I even packed my shrug, my long sleeve shrug. These are my pajamas, which I don't really own pajamas. So really this is just like a t-shirt and bear pants that my grandma gave me one Christmas. They're cute, so. So this is a shirt that goes in the closet. This goes in that, honestly, I think this could just go into the closet too. I'll hang this up in the closet. I have like a little pull-out drawer under my bed just for extra storage and I put some of my clothes that I don't wear as often in there. I've already put my um, makeup and jewelry away. <laughs> So like, I don't know why I'm like this, honestly. Did you see that? Like, how long is this video? That took me like, what, two minutes? Now all I need to do is just hang up literally these four articles of clothing. <laughs> it looked daunting, you know, looking at it. I'm like, I do not want to unpack. And it took me like two seconds. I don't know why I do the things that I do and why I get into my head, so. Eleanor, you're gonna make it all fuzzy. That's how you get it fuzzy, and then I have to lint roll the whole thing, and it's like a whole situation. He give YouTube a kiss, say thank you, say hello. Mwah. Not really, she actually says, why did father abandon me? Anytime Thomas goes anywhere, she gets really upset, and then she complains to me about it. You know, Eleanor, <laughs> immediately. Ellie, come here, baby girl. Honestly, like, why am I even doing this at all when I'm just about to turn around and go to LA anyway? Um, this is exactly why I don't unpack my makeup anymore. Cause like, what's the point of unpacking it? I'm just gonna turn right back around. But I am manifesting cold weather soon, so I will be back for you. Cute long sleeve tops. Why am I struggling so hard? What is happening? Why is this such an issue? Why, why is this a problem? Can you just, okay. That was ridiculous. Oh my God, I forgot to put this away. All right. Uh, oh my God. I'm tired of this grandpa. In you go. Hopefully this will shut. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. So as a side note, while I'm hanging my clothes, can y'all please give me store recommendations? I almost exclusively only wear, if I'm not wearing clothes from my store, I'm wearing clothes from Abercrombie. I don't know about you, but it just like, it's so uncomfortable. It's so hard finding clothes that are actually comfortable, especially honestly, when you have well, I shouldn't say especially because I don't want to assume like everybody's circumstances and there's lots of different body types and blah 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 but for me clothes are uncomfortable because of my IBS which is why I lean towards just like comfy clothes you know because like my body just goes all over the place and it's just really uncomfortable so like one day it's like okay cool these pants fit or my jeans fit but I think everybody just hates jeans so whatever I just don't know what to wear, but Abercrombie honestly has been really solid. Even like their comfy clothes aside, I have like some of their dresses and stuff. So I really, really like Abercrombie. Because I love Abercrombie so much, I don't really shop anywhere else. <laughs> and so I need help. We have to find clothes that we're comfortable in. All bodies are different. All bodies go through fluctuations. Your body is not going to feel normal all the time. And I'm trying to remind myself that as well. So anyway, I just want store recommendations so that I can actually like shop some and not just be like a constant walking Abercrombie advertisement. Now that that's a bad thing, Abercrombie, you are welcome to sponsor me literally uh, at any time. Now would be great. Honey, baby, yeah. Just a baby. Oh, no problem, dude. You know, we gotta look out for each other. We're the same, you and me. Isaac's sister is Jasmine, and Jasmine works at the massage place with Phoebe, and Phoebe's friends with Rachel, and that's the trail. I did it. <laughs> friends is one of my comfort shows. It is. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely, like, problems in the show, but, you know, certainly a product of its time. Um, but I still really like it. It's just, like, 
the more I watch it, it's like, oh my god, I cannot stand Ross. <laughs> He's just the worst. I'm on literally the break episode, like the big whole showdown, whatever the hell episode. And just like, oh my god, it's just the gaslighting, the moping, the victimizing. He's so annoying. He's, he's so, so annoying. Well, I literally just woke up. I even have my night guard in. <laughs> it's not very pretty. <laughs> Thomas is also awake. He's doing his crossword, but I'm gonna try and set up TikTok Live today because I think I know the problem now. Hopefully it'll be running by the time I stream at 10 a.m. It is currently what, Thomas, like 8.30 or something? 8.35? So. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna wear this today during stream. <laughs> In my head, I was like, oh, stream hasn't seen me wear it, so I can wear it twice with no judgment. <laughs> but um, I forgot that I was vlogging and that you guys will see me wear it twice, so I understand that there's no shame in it, but nonetheless, I was like, oh, no one's gonna see, completely forgetting that I was making this entire vlog, so y'all gonna have to deal with it, because this is happening. This is my newest sweatshirt, and I'm excited about it. So, all right, skincare time. I kind of just alternate whenever I feel like it, but um, today I'm gonna cleanse with the uh, Neutrogena oil scrub. If you all have other recommendations, let me know, but because I'm not super familiar with uh, cleansers like this. Primarily I use uh, CeraVe, so. So at 10 o'clock, my streams are just me. Um, I'm gonna play more Fields of Mystery today because we still love Fields of Mystery. And then at noon, so about a couple hours later, Kennedy and I play It Takes Two together which is a lot of fun, so we're gonna keep playing that. I think I'm mostly just gonna chill. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not really good at that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I mean, as far as like my schedule goes, I don't have anything until uh, later, later tonight. Um, Caitlin, who you guys met earlier in the vlog, my sister-in-law, um, invited the fam out to dinner at her apartment and it's super cute so actually I'm really hoping that she'll uh, let me vlog her apartment tonight and I can show you. I don't know why she'd say no but you know, you just never know. But uh, so I'll show you guys that tonight. Her apartment is super freaking cute. My dad will be embarrassing as usual, especially knowing that he's in front of a camera because he's an attention whore. So like father, like daughter, I guess. Or I didn't even moisturize or anything. Who am I? And I have to sneeze. Gee! Gee! I swear I've been like sick but not sick recently. Um, my allergies, hello. It's happening. It just comes randomly. I'm fine. Okay, it's time to wash up. Chelsea, you guys know Chelsea, she lives here. Um, she works at this skincare company and it's super fucking good. Um, it's a Colorado based skincare company, so Truth Treatment Systems, shout out to them. They are expensive, I won't lie to you, but really, really worth it. Like if you want incredibly high quality skincare products, and I don't say that lightly, like I, in fact, I rarely say that ever, but I'm serious. When I say this shit transformed my skin, and like I've never had a creamy vitamin C serum like this before. Usually it's like super liquidy. I'm not going back now because this is like some of the best stuff I've ever used. But when you are gua shying, because I see a lot of people doing this, you go up along the jaw and along your cheekbone. I see so many people like dragging down. You guys, you're not supposed to do that. That's not how you do it. Yeah, you don't do it that way. Yeah, Thomas, say hi in your night guard. Say hi in night guard. Hello. <laughs> 
Thomas and I are night guard twins now. I just got mine, um, I don't know, like literally a few days ago. Oops, you messed up. Right now, you get caught. Oops. I have a song stuck in my head because Megan Trainer is on my For You page lately. You don't like Megan Trainer? I'm a huge fan. Not even her relationship with, um, Spy Kids. Wait, kid? what? What are you talking about? You don't know this? Which Spy Kids kid? The, the, the baby one? You don't, Junie. Megan Trainer is married to Junie and they have a kid and he's super cute. Oh, I'm sure the kid's cute. I just don't like Megan Trainer very much. Why? She's, kind of, she's so sweet. I heard, maybe, but like, I don't know. Her, like, I've just, I've seen her in interviews and like on stage and stuff and I've never like gone to like a show or anything, but like, it, her like presence just kind of like, I, I don't, I don't She's like just it. awkward because she's she's like a she's just, she's just a genuine part. I like her. You on gravel TikTok still is I'm not on gravel TikTok, I'm on homesteading TikTok. Mm. It means being totally off the grid and like growing your own vegetables and stuff and, and, and building your own house. It's really fun. Says the man fun. who lives in the suburbs with a wife who vlogs <laughs> for the internet. They have a super popular uh, YouTube channel. Then that's not very off the grid of them, is it? Yeah, it is. They're literally not connected to the electrical grid. They make all of their own electricity. <laughs> they actually went through their finances and in the six years since they moved out there and built their own home, bought their own land, blah, 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 whatever, they spent a grand total of $42,000. Okay. On building a house. And? And a barn. I don't consider somebody who's a content creator for a living as off the grid. That's very, in fact, What odd. do you think the grid is? <sighs> they just like, they do their own shit and they're not a part of like the cities. The system within the cities where you're connected and you have to like abide by XYZ city rules. So they're off the grid, which means they don't have to do that. <laughs> That's what I assume the grid is. Nobody judge me for this. Yeah, you like balls on your face. <laughs> the only balls you want on your face. But like in my head, off the grid, off the grid means like people choose to be off the grid because they want to like live off of social media, off of the grid. They just want to go offline and live simply, you know? Mm. It's a lifestyle as well. I don't think my computer should crap, but there's so many people doing this, I feel like it would be a thing, you know? Critical sources and critical scene transitions. Um, and so you can put these into your docs. Oh, I didn't even blend my concealer. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Hashtag blue sona. There you go. Um, things like that. So and this you'll is need all to... connected to this? I think so. I'm not totally sure yet. <sighs> no, I'm way too overwhelmed with that. Let's just figure it out after Kennedy and I stream, okay? Thank you. I'm gonna go fix my concealer before stream. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody. Say hi. Okay, so, YouTube. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on the chat. So we are now streaming the Sunday stream. So what's gonna happen, YouTube, is howdy howdy. We are going to stream Fields of Mystery with the geese today. And um, later, in a few hours, we're gonna hop into a stream with Kennedy where we're gonna play It Takes Two. So that's what's happening today. Everybody say bye to YouTube. <laughs> oh, they're, being, they're, they're showing off. Yeah, they're showing off for you, there we go. Just finished streaming. It's 2.30, so I'm tired. Dolphin hat from when I wore the dolphin hat. Ring lights are still on, I need to turn them off. And um, I'm gonna clean up my desk area. I'm gonna clean and then it's time for some after stream care. Um, dinner with the family is at six, so I have three hours to chill.
something that's on my mind. <sighs> and, uh, I don't know, I just feel like it would be nice to be able to be more authentic. Uh, not that I'm, not that I've never not been authentic. I try really hard just to be authentic, but, um, I feel really anxious. I feel overstimulated right now. I don't feel like this every Sunday, by the way, after stream or anything, but um, I feel like my OCD is flaring up. Um, if my therapist is correct and I am on the spectrum for autism, then that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I just feel like I'm having a really hard time right now. You might be asking yourself, why are you vlogging then? Um, and the answer is, I don't know. The answer is just, if I were watching someone else's vlogs, I would wanna know that um, there was somebody else experiencing something that I might be experiencing too. And uh, also, it's oddly just therapeutic for me. Feels like it might be a good brain dump for me to think out loud so that I can properly process my thoughts and I might as well get that on camera. Um, I... Firstly, <laughs> I need to change meds. Like, I need new meds. My meds... My anxiety meds that I'm on right now, um, they do help with panic attacks, but they don't help with my anxiety the way that I would want them to. Why am I about to cry? <laughs> um, <laughs> this feels really stupid that I'm vlogging this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, like overall, I'm a very happy, confident person. There was one day recently when I was sick um, and it's like my brain went into take care of itself mode and it just completely shut off. Uh, it well, it, cut, it shut off the anxiety and I was just like, I was just having a good day. It was a very simple, amazing day. Like I just, it was a normal day, but it was such a good day. It was just like, I knew what I needed to get done. There wasn't a lot of extra fluff going on in my head. I wasn't overstimulated. I was just, I knew exactly what I needed to do, what I wanted to do for that day. And I felt at peace. I didn't feel rushed in my head. I didn't feel like I was obsessing over little things. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm obsessing over. I don't know if y'all feel like this. It's just like a cloud in my head of, I am overstimulated, something is wrong, things are not going my way, but I'm not even sure what my way is. I just know that somehow I'm failing at something. <laughs> and yes, I'm in therapy for this reason, <laughs> but um, sometimes just little things add up and I just like, it's so hard for me to let go of things. And then I get overwhelmed and frustrated and I feel, and then I feel embarrassed because like sometimes the things that I'm frustrated about are so stupid. Like, and I know that y'all are gonna come at me in the comments saying, no, they're not, it makes sense, Alyssa, but like if, if it's, it's it, I don't want to put so much emphasis on these random things because I know that I'm confident in myself and I know my worth and I know my talents and my strengths. So I think what pisses me off is that I fixate on things I don't wanna fixate on for instance, um, and again, this just this feels so silly. I just, but I know that somebody out there is going through this. So, um, so content creation is my full-time job, right? Um, 
I have been starting to make money lately with it, with brand deals, with the store, um, which is good. So I've been able to, you know, start supporting my family. And um, luckily I have a husband who believes in me and also believes I'm talented and I'm driven and I really appreciate that about him. Uh, but, you know, so in the meantime, he's been uh, the breadwinner, if you will, um, lately, which is, and I just really appreciate him. Um, and I do believe that I'll get there and help us out more eventually. But in the meantime, What I'm hyper fixated on right now is Instagram. <laughs> Instagram used to be my main source of advertising for my store. I have had my account for like four years now. Um, I grew to 10K in like a year, maybe two, but I feel like it was one year. I am now at 34K and I have been stuck at 34K for a really long time. And my analytics have, within the last year and a half, have completely nosedived. Like, as in, I'm losing followers, but I'm mostly just not gaining followers. I am overall losing followers but I'm also just not getting pushed out anywhere. And I'm just so frustrated because this used to be my main platform. And I work really hard to make content. Um, I enjoy YouTube. Um, I really enjoy Twitch. Twitch is very natural, uh, which is great. Um, the store is good. I just need to figure out how to market it better, which is where Instagram would be great, but... Um, and TikTok is good. I'm actually not really losing followers on TikTok, but I don't put a whole lot of effort into TikTok, so that's on me. Um, I should, and I'm working on that. I have a plan for that, but I digress. Um, but for Instagram, it's like, I've just been basically just losing followers for like the last year and a half, basically since Threads came out. And I'm not saying that I'm blaming for it. Threads. I did at one point because it was just like completely ironic that it was a nosedive since Threads came out. But since Threads came out, just for timeline's sake, um, I have basically not been gaining at all and I've just been losing. I'll occasionally have like a tiny little peak if like I get like a decent shout out or uh or like i or something but like i am not growing really just from i'm not growing anymore i don't know why i think my content is really good i think i have a really good plan and formula i've been engaging a lot on instagram lately like authentically um i don't know what the fuck's happening it just feels like i'm not getting pushed out anywhere and just as somebody who does content creation full time and somebody with OCD and apparently somebody who is possibly on the spectrum, um, it is really frustrating and I am obsessing over it and I feel very uh, defeated. And I'm telling you this because I know that yo you guys have felt the same way too. And I know that a lot of you will even look at like you don't have as many followers on Instagram, let's say, as I do, and you'll look at people with this many followers and you'll be like, oh, wow, well, I wish I was where they're at. You know, I wish I had this many followers. I still have imposter syndrome with Instagram specifically right now. I, I'm like, I've been stuck at 34K. Like Instagram is pissing me off. It is pissing me off. I'm telling you YouTube this, okay? So, um, should I be announcing this? I don't know. I'm gonna continue to try. I will, because I enjoy posting. I enjoy making content. I enjoy my content. It's just frustrating, that's all. And I just don't know what's going on. I do still believe in myself, for the record, as a whole. Like, I do, I do believe that I'm, I, I do believe I'm talented. I do believe that uh, I have a lot to offer. I do believe in my ability. I am just extremely defeated when it comes to social platforms that I have put so much energy into and I've previously done well on and I'm fully aware that the algorithm changes but I have no fucking idea what Instagram wants from me anymore. Like I have no 
idea. I have been considering possibly restarting an entirely new Instagram, but I feel like that's a horrible idea. So I just don't know. So again, in the spirit of being honest, this is the part where if I was a friend talking to somebody like me, if I was outside my, outside my body talking to myself, I don't know. I would say, okay, let's go relax. It is time for self-care. You just got done streaming. Go relax on the couch or something. Get some food. Uh, chill out for a bit. Do some self-care. Um, here's the truth. I don't want to do that and it's stressing me out right now thinking about doing that. I know that that sounds ridiculous. I am anxious. I'm antsy. I want to brain dump really quick first and get some brain dump thoughts out onto my computer and then I want to go relax before my dinner tonight and hopefully whenever I relax before dinner it'll help reset my mind a little bit this feels so stupid It feels so stupid to get upset about stuff like it's. It feels so dumb to get upset about stuff like this. It just feels like my brain is constantly working against me. It feels like there's this tiny voice in my brain that's like, you're never gonna get rid of us. And you know, we need to remind you why you need to continue to worry about this and be anxious and you can't ever forget, you know? That one day I was sick felt great and that feels really sad and again I want to emphasize I don't I'm not a sad person like it's not like I fake it with you guys on stream or anything and I'm like oh my life's great I love you guys everything's fantastic and then I'm just like depressed right after stream um that's not how my life is um but I am an anxious person I do struggle heavily with OCD I do struggle with um being overstimulated and you know i'm and being uh stubborn and hyper fixate and this you know um apparently possibly being on the spectrum like I, these are things that i struggle with and um so i'm just showing you that's all for whatever it's worth so i'm gonna turn the camera off uh and i'm gonna do some computer stuff and then i'm gonna go relax for a bit before dinner. That's what I'm gonna do. I'd commit arson. Coke, sponsor us. <laughs> Coke, please. <laughs> well, I didn't update y'all since last time, so here's what happened. Can you turn this down, Thomas? Yeah. So, I had a little bit of a breakdown on camera. Thomas doesn't know about that. Hmm? But he does know what it was about, because I talked to him about it too. It was just about me freaking out about like... Oh, Insta? Instagram, yeah, life, yeah. anxiety, yep. possible autism, you know. Uh, so, um, I did what I told you I was gonna do, and I was honest. I, um. Yeah, she was. I brain sailed on the computer, because it just really helps me to like thought dump and move my fingers and like think out loud, you know, to my computer. <laughs> and uh, I ended up talking to the ambassador team, which was really helpful. So Thomas and I completely redid the ambassador program for the store. And I wanted to redo it in a way where we could also support each other as content creators. And so um, we've wiped the old program, started a completely new program. By the way, if you wanna sign up, uh, you can check it out here you can check out the description to click on the link to sign up to be an ambassador down below and anyway so um it was just really nice talking to them and uh it really helped me and i felt really motivated and supported um which was the entire intent of the program but it was really nice to get that in return too <laughs> so like i literally just talked to the ambassadors on discord after i uh turned the camera off this last time and i was just like are y'all also feeling really frustrated with instagram and they were like um yeah and so then we all talked to each other and we helped each other out and we were telling each other like here's what i've noticed about like when my content does well and then that made me realize I don't actually post a lot of short form content on Instagram and I'm not saying that this is going to like magically fix my Instagram, 
but it was something I at least noticed which was really helpful and it was also just really helpful that they all like agreed that Instagram has been like frustrating with the fluctuating algorithm lately so I don't know I felt better about that it does actually help so much because I have not been diagnosed with ADHD I actually don't even think I have ADHD despite all the other shit that I do have what I just sorry I, but, I just filled out a bunch of questionnaires um and like I'm really fucking ADHD <laughs> What, but it actually is so helpful for me to like show Thomas some of my drafts and then like ADHD brain it helps to show Kennedy too sometimes and I'm like what do you think of this and they're like this is too slow I don't like this part I really like this part I like the bloop 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 noise on this part so it actually like helps so much yeah you to, need the brain tickle noises yeah so everybody find your local ADHD uh, to help edit your content it's actually so helpful hot tip right Thomas yeah I am hot that's a tip <laughs> that's a tip <laughs> Uh, hey Thomas, do you find that Coke helps you make better content? Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, I feel like Coke is kind of a nootropic. Do you feel like Coke should uh, sponsor us? <laughs> absolutely. I mean, honestly, Coke enhances my performance so much, I feel like it should be banned in the Olympics. What the fuck, Thomas? That was like the most random... I hate parallel parking so much. I just popped the curb for the first time in so long! I hate parallel parking. Anyways, Posty and Ozzy, great song. Wait, what? Oh, hey, so this is the sourdough that I made and that I totally fucked up. Is but it lovely? It's like, no, it's like fine. Um, it's just. It's just regular sourdough, okay? Okay. But. Do you want some spinach artichoke dip? Because that's great. Yes, me too. This. Me is Gruyere, rosemary, garlic, and some dried tomatoes. Okay, you know that the bread is meant for the spinach artichoke dip. I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's well. And bread. And then actually a Mediterranean salad as well. Where's Poopy? <laughs> Is he behind this? The no, oven? I pushed it back so he can't get there anymore. <laughs> He's. Oh, look what I did for the um, for the projector. <gasps> I'm framing it with butterflies. Oh my gosh! Look how cute. That is really cute. I'm so. excited to have a sleepover here. Um. Dad reads and, smut. Yeah. Why do you have a mouse glued to the top of that camera? This is huh? microphone poof. Oh yeah. It helps my sound. Yeah. Helps it sound like what? Better. It helps reduce like some of the um, like popping noises and like sibilances and stuff that you that you can pick up in my. Phone. Yeah, Dad. Someone who reads smut should know that. I like smut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's read watching the neuters. I am. The, the, oh, the the, the tutors. Yeah. Yeah. The porn. <laughs> You know, for someone who is on drill team, you're really weird when you're on camera. I know. No, it's it's. I am jazz exercise for that matter. You're a jazz exercise instructor. Know, Why are you weird on it's camera? It's honestly a new thing for me. Yeah, being weird about cameras or even performing. You get on camera for. I know. Or well, Caitlin's the same way. She's I managed, also. I would like to alert everyone. I managed to cook three flank steaks, and they're all at different levels of doneness. Whoa! So <laughs> that's amazing. It was a complete accident. Oh, we got raccoons on back. We're back home. Um, I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm trying to decide if I think I'm gonna wake up early and shower in the morning so that my hair is all nice. Thomas is helping me set up TikTok Live, which is really helpful. So I'm hoping that this will help me with my reach on Twitch. Don't film me, I look like a turtle. <laughs> what? No, I mean my shoulders are like. Why are you just so randomly? My, why are then, eh. you're just so randomly insecure about your posture? I'm not insecure. I just know for a fact that it's bad. Anyway, Thomas, but he's just so cute and he's real handsome. Mm. 
Yeah. So that's what we're doing tonight. It feels weird ending a video on such shitty lighting. So I'm gonna end this video in the morning, which is a Monday, which is technically off, not on the weekday. And then I will edit and show you guys a weekend in my life. So after this, we're crashing. We're probably gonna watch the Great British Baking Show on our projector in our room. And then we're going to bed. Right, Thomas? Huh? Yeah, totally. Uh-huh. He doesn't know what we said. Okay. Oh, sorry. I so it is um 3 p.m. Um, I just finished streaming, so on a Monday. So this was supposed to be a weekend vlog, but I didn't really get to give y'all a proper like exit. I didn't really get to give y'all a proper goodbye, so this is my goodbye. <laughs> um, stream went really well. It was my first time, it was co-working today. It was my first time uh, streaming to TikTok Live as well. And that helped my viewership so much, so that was fantastic. If you're interested in how my co-working streams work, you can check them out here. It's really cool. You can just add to your little task list. We listen to lo-fi together. We just uh, chill out, chat, support one another, so it's really great. The weekend was really good. I don't know, I, you know, some ups, some downs, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let me know if there is anything that you are interested in learning about or knowing about as far as, you know, being a small business owner goes, about um, Twitch things that you want to learn about, uh, content creation, anything, all the things. Just ask away in the comments, all right? I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys later. Bye!